Hello gorgeous ones. How are you? Dr. Lucy here. I'm just on Facebook today. No Insta. Uh, lots of reasons, but the main one being I haven't charged my iPad. So I'll just wait for a few of you to come on. Hello Selena. How are you gorgeous girl? Um, I am a little late tonight, but you know, it's the Christmas crazy period and uh, I think that, you know, Doing it is better than perfect. Courtney, how are you? Haven't seen you for ages. I hope you're well. Um, tonight I'm making a non-vegetarian dish. Surprise, surprise. Um, Alani, yay, hello. Hello, Fran, how are we all? Good, I can see you all getting on now, so I will stop just bantering. Hello, Lindy. Um, so, I was going to cook this very nice sort of terrine that Clara, one of our members had cooked um, or had shown us and she'd cooked for her Christmas lunch. And I'm gonna tell you how to do it because I'm not making it because I didn't have, I, I forgot to go to the shops. So basically you just do it, it was done in sort of like a log dish and she draped some either prosciutto or very um, thinly sliced bacon, sort of like on the bottom of it. Then she plopped in some turkey mince. She did turkey and chicken. You can do whatever you like, remember? You're the boss of you. So she plopped some of that. Oh, well, first of all, she made this turkey and chicken sort of stuff with some seasoning in it. I think she put nutmeg and some salt and whatever. You can put whatever herbs and spices you like in it. And she put through her some pistachios, which I thought was very good. And you could put in a few cranberries. Pistachio and cranberries, very Christmassy. Oh, your tea gift arrived today, beautiful color. So um, so basically you put, you mix up this mixture of turkey mints and some pistachios and some cranberries and you mix all that through together. And then she put half down. Then she put um, some, oh God, I've got a bloody cat in the background there. I have to watch them, they're lethal. Then she put um, a layer of um, I was gonna say sun-dried capsicums, but you know, marinated, marinated capsicum strips, which she put there. Then she put the next bit of the um, turkey chicken mince on top. Then she covered it in the rest of the prosciutto, if you can imagine, cooked it, brought it out, and you let it sit for a while because it, it, it has to sort of set. She actually put it in the fridge for a day and then she sliced it like this amazing terrine. Clara, I'm banging on about you and your incredible terrine. So it was really, it looked delicious and I was hoping to cook it tonight, uh, but I didn't. Because at five o'clock I went to my fridge and went, right, what am I gonna cook? And you know what? I didn't have any turkey mince. I did have some chicken mince. My daughter had eaten all the sun-dried tomatoes. And so I thought, okay, well, this is my standard thing. What am I gonna cook? And so I'm whipping up a new recipe, never tried before, based on about 50 other people's recipes. Um, and I'm calling it, <laughs> Mexican, Greek, Italian hamburgers or meatballs. You can decide. So basically, I've just defrosted half a kilo of beef mince. Again, you can use whatever you like. If you want to use chicken mince, you can do that. If you want to do, you know, lamb, anything. So some mince, half a kilo of mince. Then, here's my tricky bit. I'm feeling so, so I had an, another slightly manky zucchini in the bottom of my fridge. So I zipped it up into the thermi, so you could either grate it if you want. And then what I did was I popped it into this tea towel and squeezed it and drained all the juice out. Clearly the tea towel's gonna need a bit of a wash now because it's turned this delightful shade of green. So we have one big zucchini, which is now mushed, and um, it's gonna go in there too. And then, this is the great bit, I zimmed up some halloumi in the thermi so you could do you could if you've got a food process you can do that or if you just want to grate it or if you've got a neutral bullet whatever it doesn't matter basically i've just grated it and it's sort of gone like a crumble and essentially that's going to be my burger mix so then so <laughs> the italian is the zucchini the greek is the halloumi and it's obviously got some mince in it I'm just gonna mix this through a bit and I'm gonna bind it together all with one of my, you know, famous Mornington Peninsula chicken eggs. And then, before I put the egg in though, you've got options. You can make it whatever flavor you want. So I'm calling it Mexican because I'm going to put in some Mexican seasoning. 
But if it's quite spicy because it's only half a kilo, I normally use a whole sachet for at least a kilo of mince because it is quite a spicy one. So if you didn't want to use that, you could just use the spag bowl one. Or if you really want to kind of emphasize the Greek part of it with the, you could make this with a lamb mince with halloumi and zucchini through it. How good would that be? And fling in some, some of this Greek herby stuff or even just the, you know, the mixed, mixed herbs that have got the rosemary, the thyme, the oregano. But I'm just going to do uh, Mexican. So the Mexican Greek, um, Mexican Greek Italian meatballs. Now, as you know, the one thing you need to do with these, it's lucky I've got this handy half mangy thing here, is um, you do have to get your hands in and bit, get a bit a bit dirty. So just going to squish up this. Now, has everybody seen? Dr. Mary's exciting news. I'm hoping that you all have. Put your hand up if you have and tell me if you haven't. I don't wanna, you know, it's her news, but bloody hell, we are super excited. Let me know if you haven't seen her news. As I'm chopping all this through. Yes, Selena's seen it, good, good, good. And Alani, yay! Good, and Heather, beautiful. So for those of you who haven't seen the news, we did announce it on our podcast, which we recorded last week. So Dr. Mary is having a baby. Yay, so exciting. So um, it's, uh, it's, it's thrilling, like we're just, it's, we're, you know, I'm, I'm as excited as she's, it's not even my baby, but I get to watch everything that goes on and for me, it's a bit like the, you know, that phase between like being a grandparent and not because I'm too young to be a grandmother. I mean, technically I'm not, but I wouldn't really want my kids to be having children just yet. They're very young. So, um, yes, a bun is baking in the low, it's a low carb bun, baking in the low carb oven. Now, check out this. How good was that? So that's that's it for the, for the baking of said um, thingy. Now, um, oh, I just need to turn this on. Ah, oh, is Sally watching? So, how's this, right? Remember last week I was talking about my knives and how crap they are? Well, Sally put a post in, I think in our community, with a link to a knife bloke, and I sent him an email, and I rang him, and he's coming tomorrow morning to sharpen eight of my knives, 10 bucks each or something like that. But this is a knife block I've had for, I reckon, 15, 16 years. Probably longer, actually. Ruby's 21, bloody hell. I've probably had it for 20 years and I've never sharpened them, apart from that, you know, little steel thing you get in the block. So I am super excited and I think it's gonna be money well spent. All right, so now, so this is basically it. That, that's it, how quick was that? And you can decide how you wanna make them. You can turn them into the little balls that I made for, um, you know, those little chicken balls, or you can make them into big patties. I'm gonna make them into a big patty, but I'm just going to, I forgot to bring some butter over. I'm gonna fry these in a little bit of butter. Give me a second. So, um, here's just a whole knob. Um, so I'm just gonna put the butter in, um, make these up into little, into big patties, and there's dinner done. So we've got obviously protein with your beef. We've got some dairy, halloumi, uh, which is actually also really good protein. Some veggies with the zucchini. And I'll probably serve it with some avocado because it is the Mexican, <laughs> the Italian Mexican burger with a bit of, with a, with a sort of side serve of Greek. And like, it's actually, actually these aren't too bad. They're not too gunky at all. I'm not even gonna need to, I don't, I'm not gonna bother putting them into, um, you know, patting them down with flour or anything, but look at that. So I'm just kind of trying to get it so that, there we go. You can see, and it looks delicious. I won't make them too big. Just turning this little baby on, Pete. Got my trusty old square one today that goes on the, on the induction cooktop. And if I'd got myself a bit more organized, I would have, oh, I would have a plate to put these on, but instead I'm just gonna dump it on there. So, um, Christmas, is everyone ready? What are you all making? I'd love to hear your Christmas recipes. I am at my house. I'm in charge of dessert. 
um, well, it's for mum's dinner. At, at, the lunch is at my mum's house and I'm making dessert. So I'm going to make a version of one of the chocolate mousses. Um, my sister-in-law is gluten and dairy free, so I'll make, I think I'll make the egg one, but with the coconut milk through it and a bit of cinnamon and maybe a bit of nutmeg on top. And I'm also gonna make, because we traditionally have pavlovas, so I'm gonna make a low carb pavlova. Um, I do, I've used Megan Ellen's recipe quite a few times and uh, it's, it's been great. So if you're thinking of making a low carb pavlova, I would recommend that recipe. And again, it's really, it's basically just a standard pavlova recipe, but with, um, oh my God, this cat. Shh, get out. You should see him. He's doing chin ups on, the, on one of the handles over here, trying to get up onto the bench. He's just such a nut job. Um, what else has been happening lovely so we've got a lot coming up for next year um, 2022 is going to be a fantastic year for real life medicine we're going to be doing hooray assuming COVID is still going to play nice we're planning for it to be playing nice we're doing the RLM Roadshow so we're going to do the low carb long lunch and it'll be an in-person event um, in the capital cities our members get to come for free but they can also bring their friends and it'll be open to the general public and we'll have you know low carb speakers <laughs> is that a word and I've, I've got some funness in store because I'm going to also design a low carb trivia so we're gonna have prizes in fact it probably will be a real life medicine trivia um, and I'm really excited about that because we got into trivia during COVID lockdown when we would play with our fam, our family would play another family's friends. Has anyone done that on Kahoot? I think it's called Kahoot, something like that. Who's done Kahoot? It's great fun, it's Kahoot. Um, but anyway, and it's not too technical. I know that, you know, everyone gets worried about tech. It's not too technical. Look how good these are. And I tell you what, I'm not getting, you know, I mean, I've got a bit of orange kind of spicy stuff, but I don't have, you know, that gross feeling that you get sometimes. And I think it's because I, um, rung, I, I did two things. I made the made sure that the zucchini was wrung out in the tea towel, and I um, I don't know what else I did. Nothing, nothing else to make it less goopy. I guess chicken mince. Maybe chicken mince is just generally a bit goopier. And look, there's one little baby one to finish off. So just waiting for my pan to heat up. I forgot to put it on high. Ugh. All right, so good. Now, I'm just gonna wipe my hands with this and get cooking. You're late, Susan, don't worry. Glad there's no uh, no vision getting dressed to go out. Oh, Susan, <laughs> it's hilarious, isn't it? Well, you girls have all seen me and guys in my bathrobe, my hair in a towel thing, you know. At the end of the day, we're just human beings. So, um, so for those of you who wanna remember this, it's a kilo of mint, a packet of halloumi, which is like 200 grams. It's um, one giant zucchini or two small ones grated with the juice drained off and an egg. I haven't put in any flour or anything to pat it down. Hopefully they'll stay together. They look pretty good so far. And I'm just pan frying it in a bit of butter. If it doesn't all, if it all falls apart, they do look delicious. I think they are gonna be delicious. And hopefully, what I'm really hoping is that they don't fall apart because that would be bad. But even if they do, oh well, worst case scenario, I've got mints, my fave. Today, had, um, one of my jobs today has actually been, has anyone got those jobs? You know when you have a job and it's, um, it's just been weighing on your mind, it's sort of something you keep putting off and it's like this thing, you go, oh, I'll just do that, oh, I don't wanna do that. And it's this big task and you make it, and it goes on and on, a bit like say doing your tax, well, I had one of those today and it was, um, we do uh, online, we do not online, but we do ongoing um, CME, continuing medical education or CPD, whichever you want to call it. And I'm very good at doing the education. I'm not very good at logging it. So today I had to go through and find all my education from the last bazillion years and log it all. So. I'm not quite finished, but I know where everything is now. So I'm feeling very relieved and just ah, like a little weight has lifted. I'm just grabbing a plate to put these burgers on. Um, 
Has anybody done got little jobs like that that they don't want to do? But once you do them, you feel like a bloody legend. Well, that's that's actually what I reckon we should be focusing on in the next couple of weeks. Anything you've been putting off, just crack on and get it done. There was another job. This one did take quite a long time, which is why I was putting it off. But there was another job that I had, which is, again is more medical admin, what I thought was going to be really hard and really tedious and take forever, and I'd put it off, put it off, put it off, finally did it, and I go, oh, right, wow, that was 20 minutes. Big deal, hey? So I think sometimes we do that. We put on big jobs, and um, and we don't want to do them. We put them off, and then once you get cracking on them, you go, oh, that's actually not too bad at all. Okay, just putting my thing, I'm gonna put my pan up a bit higher. It's on very medium for some reason. I'm gonna show you these. Same, you've been putting off logging your CPD, yes, yes. Just get on and do it. It, um, the sooner you do it, the better. Um, so I feel very pleased, woohoo, go me. Um, and yes, Winnie, logging, uh, logging, teaching professional hours, we've all gotta do them. Um, and I think next year what I'm gonna do is come up with a system where I just do it when I get it. Because it's, I'm the queen of putting that stuff off. I think lots of us are. It sort of feels hard, so we don't wanna do it. So far, so good, they're staying together. I don't, I don't wanna turn them too early. You could definitely make these as small ones and stick them in the oven if you don't wanna stand here. You know, flipping burgers. Um, so Christmas is coming. We've got a um, blog coming out tomorrow, Thursday, whenever, some stuff. Hopefully you're all on our email list um, because you'll get the newsletter. We'll probably have a week off. Oh, maybe we won't. Newsletter over Christmas. We are closing our office, <laughs> our virtual office, between Christmas Day or Christmas Eve and that first Monday back. And um, you're the princess. Princess of procrastination. I'm a bad. I'm. I'm. I'm quite a procrastinator. I'm quite. I, I will. I'm. A, I, I'm. Like a lot of us, we're this paradox, right? So I can procrastinate on things I just don't want to do, and then what happens is I, I become so efficient at doing all of these other tasks in an effort to avoid the one I don't want to do. I actually, become the queen then of productivity. Just not always the productivity that I want to do. Okay, I'm just leaving these a bit longer. Good, so um, Christmas tips. You wish they were having those burgers instead of hospital food. Jodes, I forgot, I hope you're okay. Um, yes, hospital food is poo, boo for hospital food. One day it will get better, but yeah, just do, it doesn't matter, do the best that you can and um, you know, when you get back home, you'll be able to eat your beautiful, nutritious burgers and avo instead of their processed garbage. Okay, just still giving it a bit longer. Um, so Christmas time, basically, if you listen to our podcast today, you'll know that we basically believe that you're the boss of you. You get to choose what you do on Christmas and what works for one person won't work for another. So for some people, they want to stay low carb. They're going to stay low carb over Christmas. They're just going to have low carb, you know, bring low carb desserts, eat low carb food, really don't have to feel like you're missing out. And that's fine. Other people are wanting to, you know, maybe have some carb, you know, higher carb food on that day. And again, if that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do, that's fine. It's, you know, you do you, you're the boss of you. The key is to make sure that your one day off plan doesn't slip into 66 weeks off plan because that's really unhelpful. So make sure that you've got your following days after Christmas planned. You know, for a lot of people, they kind of have this idea that they're being good, I'm being good, I'm being good, I'm gonna go let loose Christmas day, and you know, yay, do that. And then they let loose Boxing Day, and then they eat the leftovers the day after Boxing Day, and then they suddenly drinks for New Year's, and suddenly it's all kind of just, everything just falls off. So just be mindful of that. Again, you know, the key is not what you do every day. Sorry, the key is not what you do every now and then, it's what you do every day. Okay, these are going well, they're not falling apart. 
I reckon I might have needed another egg to bind them together. When, I, when we print the recipe, I'm going to put two eggs in. They're okay, but they are a bit crumbly. They smell good. I wish you guys had smell vision Happy Christmas, Kim. How are you, darling? So I've had a few good, um, what I call Christmas presents already, apart from Dr. Mary's very exciting news. Um, you know, just a few really good successes for a lot of our, either our members or my patients in the clinic. And I was, I saw one guy last week who I started seeing in about February and he has been very, very diligent and so far he's lost 52 kilos. So he's made just, and do you know what? He, he hasn't been perfect. He's been, you know, he's, he's moved into more perfect. So he started off and he just started eliminating, you know, all the white things, apart from the sugar in his coffee. He said, I don't think I can do that just yet. And I thought, oh God, you're never gonna do it. Anyway, he did. And now he just eats, he's got an air fryer. He loves talking to me about air fryer recipes and I'm still considering whether I should get one. I think that could make my life easier. I'm not sure. Can I have a little vote on? You could definitely substitute a different cheese. Um, you could do. I put the bloomy in because I just like the salty flavour. But yeah, you could definitely put put in a hard cheese like parmesan. Um, look at this. Ta da So that lovelies. I'll let the others all do their thing. Oh, hang on, I'm trying to get the lunch. Sorry. There you go. You can see that, looks pretty good. It hasn't fallen apart. Hopefully it's cooked. That would be bad, wouldn't it? I better check. Hang on, I'll just grab a knife and check. Not so good at, you know, burgers and checking that they're cooked all the way through. Beautiful. That looks very, very good. Not falling apart, cooked all the way through. Very tasty. Thumbs down for the air fryer. Kerry, tell us more. Because all I hear is people that rave on about them. And so I keep thinking, oh God, maybe I should have an air fryer. But you know, I know you do a lot of cooking. Um, what, what's the big deal? You don't like it? We should have a little poll. Maybe I'll put a poll in the community, in the group about your air fryers. You love your air fryers. So Joanne loves her air fryer and Kerry hates hers. Okay, so as far as my hamburgers go, I've got one that's fallen apart, I don't know why. I can just stick them back together though. <laughs> Look at that. Your son loves his, Kim. Somebody else loves hers. So um, yeah, I'd love to know a bit more, Kerry. Look at this, this, these are bloody beautiful. One fell apart. So I reckon two eggs into the mix to hold it together. Um, otherwise you are dealing with slightly crumbly burgers. But otherwise, I reckon they're a winner. All right, lovelies. So dinner, that's dinner on the table in 20 minutes. It's, um, Oh, good to reheat things rather than turning the big oven on. Yes, and you live in, in tropical land now, Clara, so you would know. Um, but, uh, yeah, so the recipe will go up on the blog. It'll be in the newsletter, two eggs instead of one, just to bind it all together. And you could even think about putting in, you know, those hemp, um, hemp seeds. That would also be pretty good to hold it together. Other than that, it's a ripper. All right, lovelies, have a wonderful, wonderful Christmas. I probably won't see you before Christmas. Before Christmas. Uh, cooking show is having a rest over the summer period and we'll be back probably, to, you know, towards the end of January. I've got to do a bit of research. I need to come up with some proper recipes and actually get my cooking, you know, my cooking ass into gear. But um, have a wonderful Christmas and I will see you all in the new year. Bye for now. Oh, before I go, sorry. Uh, if you're wanting to do the 12 week mind body rebalance, it does start in February. We have a wait list. 
Wait, Liz, get it. Anyway, um, so go and sign up because we've got some bonuses coming for the people that are on the wait list. Other than that, have a wonderful, wonderful Christmas and enjoy yourselves. Talk soon.